Shalom and God bless you. I pray that this video will be of a great help to you and it will be a blessing to you as well. I just want to quickly talk about how to know a proud person or some sign to note that you are proud. Maybe you might, you might say, well, I'm too humble. Somebody have to tell you that you are proud. And this is sign number one. A proud person does not accept their mistakes. If you never accept your mistake, you are proud. Number two, a proud person does not ask for help. A proud person will tell you, well, I don't need help from anybody. You know, I want to ask somebody, please, can I pray for you? The person say, no, I can pray for myself. Of course. I know you can pray for yourself. If you read your Bible carefully, the Bible says, if two shall agree together, it is very important. Even Paul, the apostle, the chief apostle, requests prayer from others. Who are you to say, I don't need prayer from others. I need prayer for people. Please, as you are watching this video right now, I want you to pray for me. Pray for our ministry in Taiwan. Pray for Taiwan. I need your prayer. But three, a proud person does not ask for forgiveness. They are too proud to say, I am sorry. Very proud. They don't ask for forgiveness. Say, I don't care. Number four, a proud person does not submit easily. They always look down on others. They feel that they have all it takes. They have the education. They have the money. They have whatever. So they don't need any. They look down on anybody. Yeah, that is a proud person. Number five. A proud person likes their independent. They rely on their strength of power. They rely on their ability. They feel they are too skillful. <laughs> you know, the Bible says the race is not to the sweet. The battle is not won by those who are, who are warriors. The Bible says time and chance happen to them all. Humble yourself. In the mighty hand of God. Number six, a proud person wants everything done their own way because they think they know better than everyone. They want you to do it their own way. You have to do it like this. You have to arrange this like this. You have to make this thing be like this. You have, I mean, you have to do it their own way. Just maybe their own way is not correct. They feel they know it more better than you. They will even tell you, I'm more intelligent than you. You are proud. You are proud. Humble yourself. Number seven, a proud person likes to give their option about everything. They see other options as useless. If you give your idea, they say, come on, put that one into trash. Mine is better than yours. I am more knowledgeable than you. I have PhD, I have, I have masters, I have this, I have this. You know, I'm very worthy, I'm this. You are proud. Humble yourself, my dear. Humble yourself, listening to other ideas. Number eight, a proud person is always full of himself. They are always full of themselves. Oh, I'm too beautiful. Oh, I'm too handsome. Oh, I'm too deep. They are always full of themselves. For example, if you are sharing an idea with anybody and the person says, well, I already know this, that person is proud. If it is a humble person, the person will be calm to, li to listen to what you have to say. He will not just cut you out and say, well, I already know this. You're proud. Even if you are a pastor, you are a bishop, a humble person will be calm. Proud people often say, I don't need the help of others. I don't need the help of others. I am self-made. I can do it myself. <laughs> can I say this to you? A great man of God, Apostle John Suleiman, he said something very profound. He said, we don't have great men. We have men that are greatly helped. We have men that are greatly helped. You know, David, one of the things that made David to stand out, the Bible says day by day, people were going to him to help him. People, you need help. God is our source. God is our helper. But God use me. You know, the answers to your prayer is somebody. All right, let me say that one more time. The answers to your prayer is somebody. God is not going to throw money down from heaven. Money is here. God will use somebody to give you the money you are praying for. You want to marry. God will not send man from heaven to marry you. All right. 
he will you will marry somebody he will connect you to the man you are going to marry you will not marry a woman from heaven you will not marry an angel he will send somebody to you the answers to that your prayer is another person last one i'm going to say is going to shock you i have made few people that have said i don't need god some say there is no god you know the bible says fool says there is no god if you say there is no god you don't need god the bible says you are a fool and you are proud and you don't have future with god may god help you a person that is proud does not have future with god you know why the bible said the lord resists the proud and he give grace to the humble he resists the word resists me to fight against in other words it is god himself that is fighting against you god is fighting against a proud person the bible says humble yourself in the mighty hand of god in due time in due season he will lift you up will you humble yourself today the Bible says, if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and seek my face. You know that some people are too proud to pray. <laughs> they are too proud to pray. May God help this generation, this microwave generation. I need it, I need it now. Five minutes miracle. Buy the water of miracle. Buy the oil of miracle. It's a microwave generation. May God help us. I believe this little video has been a blessing to you. Share it with your friends. We humble ourselves before the Almighty God. In Jesus' name.